All right, Isaac, I'm just going to go over the things that I was seeing okay. and then try to point out some of the things that you were doing once I actually asked you to do some things and see if you were actually accomplishing the things that I was asking you to do. So, top of your leg, please. Just like we talked about, this is where your movements are happening. Separation is happening. This hip lead is, is very aggressive, and that's fine. But it has to induce, it has to create movement forward. So look at your hip position right now. Okay? So if I look at your back hip and your back knee, okay, your back knee, these are really, really good positions. We want those to be happening when you're out here. So if I look at your hips right now and the angle of your drive leg, you're getting in really good positions. It's doing this and doing it with your head out here. So it's, it's, you're not far off, buddy. So don't take this as you have to make huge adjustments. You just have to make smarter adjustments. You have to time your movements as best as possible. So if you were moving back here, when you go into front foot strike, when you get out to here, if you notice this, your back foot's still connected to the ground. If you would have left a little bit earlier, all of that hip drive would have taken you away from the, uh, the rubber. And you'll notice in a lot of really good throwers, they will leave the rubber at the foot strike because of this. So anyway, at the, at the end of the day, we're just trying to be as efficient as possible. So getting your body to move forward early improves the positions that we have down here. Now, this is only the side angle, so we don't get to see what's happening from behind. So I'll address that when we get back there. But if I watch, last thing we're gonna look at is we'll watch the reaction. So after your foot comes down, you're, you're cocking your arm really late. So foot contact here, and your arm still isn't fully cocked, which is good. So that's gonna help you. That's one thing that you do really well. If I watch your front knee, okay, if we lock in on what this is doing right here, you're going to watch it move, 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 move. And it doesn't really stabilize until there, so you can't really transfer any of that energy until you're in this position. So. And it even moves after the ball is out of your hand, so typically we don't see that. Um, so look for that in other throwers too. Alright, that's the first one.